So in this video, I want to talk about the separation of concerns between HTML and CSS. I have here a page that's got two different layouts with the exact same HTML. So as I click on this button, what I'm doing is I'm really just changing the CSS class name on one element. And with that, I'm completely changing the layout between sort of a table based layout with rows or cards. And if I go into the dev tools and we look at the elements here, inside the body, let me shrink this down here, close that off. Inside the main element, here's my main element with the class cards. As I click on this button, I'm running some JavaScript and all it's doing is it's changing that class between cards and rows. That's it. And it completely changes the look of the page. And that's because when you're writing HTML, what you're supposed to be doing is thinking about what is the structure of this data? What is the information that I'm trying to present? What is the main part of the page? What's the navigation part of the page? The footer, the header, where's the main content? What are the different sections on the page? What are the articles on the page? So what I've done here is I've taken this, these groupings of data about different books and there's a span with each one of the pieces of information. They've got a class name for that, so I can style them individually. But these sections, I'm turning these between rows and cards just by changing this. So we can take a look at that. We'll take a look at the CSS and see how that's done just quickly. But the main point that I want you to take away is when you're writing the HTML, when you're writing the CSS, don't always do those things sort of together hand in hand. Think about what is the data because I can take any HTML and make it look like anything at all. I can take paragraph tags. I can change every single thing here inside of the body into a paragraph tag and I can still make it look like this. You can make any layout look like any other layout by changing the CSS. That is the purpose of the CSS is the presentation to the user. The HTML is the content and the CSS is the presentation. So here's my main element with all these sections inside of it. There's my button, my script down here at the bottom. It's just a click listener on that button and I'm getting the main element. I'm checking to see if it has the class cards. If it does change it to rows, if it doesn't, I replace rows with cards. So I'm just toggling back and forth between those two class names. Now the CSS, I've got a section for the rows. I've got a section for the cards. I've got a couple of default things, just some basic font stuff for the HTML tag and styling for the button. For the cards, I started off with a grid. So I'm using CSS grids, creating these card elements. So cards, items, these are the sections that are inside of that main element. We're saying there's going to be three columns and two rows the rows are 300 pixels high. The columns are going to be 200 pixels wide at a minimum. One fraction of the whole space available for each one of them as the columns. And then a four REM gap. So that's based on this size right here, this 10 pixels. So there's going to be a 40 pixel gap between the, each one of the cards, both vertically and horizontally. Inside each one of the cards. So that's for the grid with the cards themselves. Then inside the cards, each one of them is, I'm going to use display flex. It's going to be a column that's got the three items inside stacked vertically. And that's what this is doing right here. Stack them towards the top, stretch them across the width of the card. And that's what we have for the cards. The stuff that's inside of title, author, year, this is just basic styling, colors, fonts, a little bit of padding, nothing really too big here. We've got 50% of the height is going to be used for the title and then 25% for each one of the others. But that's not really so as much layout as these two styles right here, the cards and the cards item. For the rows, same sort of idea. But instead of using grid, I'm going to say display flex column. So I'm going to build a stack. Each one of the sections is going to be one element in this vertical stack. My flex direction is column, so I'm building a vertical stack. They're all aligned towards the top, and they're all stretched out from left to right across the screen. 
then each one of the sections themselves, they're filling up 100% of the available space and they are a row. So inside each one of the items, I'm going to line everything up horizontally. It's going to be one row with three elements inside of it. The only other thing that I did to really make it stand out that it's rows is I used the nth child property so I could alternate the background between white and this light blue color. If I come back onto the page, this color right here. So I'm alternating between no color and this color with that nth child. Um, then again, for the three spans that are inside of here, I'm doing 50%, 25%, 25%. So the title gets half the width and then we've got 25 and 25 for the other two columns. And that's it. So the big takeaway here is you can change any layout to look like any other layout just by changing a few CSS properties. The HTML, if you've structured it properly, it's going to be a very easy thing for you to do the switch back and forth between these. So I hope that sets you on a good path to be able to think about things in these terms. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will leave a copy of this page as a code gist and put the link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.